the government's stance in the genocide talks from the onset was that Germany accepted that atrocities committed between 1904 and 1908 against the Ovaherero and Nama communities was indeed genocide, apologize, and then for the two to agree on forms of reparations. Following eight intense rounds of talks between the two countries' envoys over a four-year period, Germany agreed to the term genocide. They have reached that point. They are also prepared to uh, render an apology to our government and the people of Namibia, in particular the affected communities, descendants of the victims of the genocide. We have reached that point. But you'll recall that uh, the motion of our national parliament gave us three tasks. That Germany admits they committed genocide, that they uh, render an apology, and that they then pay reparations. But it's true that their expectation, of course, is that uh, uh, in that order, they will then, of course, also uh, deliver in terms of uh, our program of reconstruction, the reparations that we are looking for. The complex discussions on the forms of reparations include building of memorial shrines, support in land reform, health and education programs for the affected communities, as well as investments in other developmental projects. They have initially said, we'll talk about healing the wounds. We said it was not quite enough. Finally, they have agreed to some of the, the things that we demanded to reconstruct our societies, and they agreed on what they now agree to say is a reconciliation and reconstruction program. They have uh, spelled out a number of interventions, and recently we had a, a Ino Chivarongo a workshop where we worked on projects that we consider meaningful in the sense that they have got to take care of the problem of water, which you know is very important in our country, energy, the road infrastructure. We had advisors representing the communities. Ambassador Gavirwe's negotiation team includes the Ovambanderu and Nama Council for Dialogue 1904 and other groups from the affected communities. Last week, however, the Ovaherero Traditional Authority and the Nama Traditional Leaders Association bemoaned alleged exclusion and accused both Namibian and German governments of politicizing the talks. But the Namibian side denies this, saying the invitation to be part of the talks was extended to everybody, and it still stands. After I get the final report very soon. I'll be calling a meeting, inviting everybody concerned to give them now the final report. And that will be the end of it. They either come on board or not that's their business. We are going to invite everybody that no one was left out. The two countries have not yet decided on the date for the final round of talks due to uncertainties posed by COVID-19. Government's involvement in genocide talks came following a motion by the late Ovaherero Paramount Chief and Nudo leader Kwaima Riruako in 2006, requesting that the matter be taken up on state-to-state -state level. The motion was unanimously adopted by all parties in Parliament. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.